Hello, Salaam Alaikum and welcome to this second Q&A that I'm doing. If you did see my video just before this a few days ago, it was my Ramadan Q&A, so if you haven't seen that, then go and see it. Um, but for this one, I just asked on Instagram what questions you had for me and there were some really really good questions and I'm going to go through some of them now inshallah are you the only member in your family converted to Islam so we actually got a couple of questions kind of along the same lines as this um, the answer is yes I am the only person that is converted to Islam in my family I'm pretty sure I'm the only person that my family know that have because I didn't know of anyone who had converted to Islam before I did um, which is amazing now for me to think about because now I follow so many amazing people on Instagram and YouTube who have converted I get messages pretty much every other day from someone telling me that they've just done their shahada and it is such a huge thing that people are doing and so I can't believe I didn't know of anyone. And another question that came along the lines of this was about me trying to convert my family and that's definitely something that I do not plan to do. I definitely believe in dawah in terms of informing people about Islam and being the being a good Muslim, being a good role model of the religion. Um, I know some people are interested in converting their family, um, but for me, that's just something that's just not on my agenda. What attracted you to Islam and essentially what made you want to become Muslim? So I traveled in some Muslim majority countries in Pakistan, in um, Saudi, and then in Indonesia, pretty much one after the other at the end of 2019, start of 2020. And definitely just meeting Muslim people there really just opened my eyes to Islam, even though they weren't telling me, you know, they weren't like forcing the religion on me. They were just living as good people, especially in Saudi Arabia and also like that goes back to the question I just um, answered at the start of this video is that I think the best way to do dawah and to show people the religion is just to be a good Muslim yourself um, and that's definitely what opened my eyes. I also went to Bahrain and I went to the Grand Mosque there. I got showed, showed around by a really, really nice man and he really kind of explained Islam to me in a way that I'd never had, never heard it before. Um, gave me some leaflets. So that's kind of how I got interested. And then when it came to the point of actually becoming Muslim, it was definitely the idea that I felt like I'd learnt so much and so much of it just made sense and sounded like the truth to me and I enjoyed praying, I'd already prayed, I'd already fasted for Ramadan, I just felt like I just can't ignore this right now, I can't just go back to my old life, like stop praying, ignore everything, or I can't just carry on praying because I like doing it but not become Muslim, so it was definitely at that point where I just felt like I've learned so much, couldn't like keep on learning learning anymore until I became Muslim, until I made that commitment. So that's why I did my shahada in the end. But that was kind of like a good like five, six month process. So bear that in mind if you are in that stage. What's your advice about diving deeper into Islam and fears of opinions about converting? I mean, everyone has their own journey, their own journey to Islam. I get a lot of DMs with people asking me like, where do I start? And it's really hard to kind of advise someone where to start, especially when you don't know what they've learned so far. But for me, in my experience, the knowledge and the learning, I think is really, really key. I think like learning about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, learning about his life in Medina, in, in Mecca and learning about you know how people reverted back then and why they were reverting and learning a, a bit about the history of Islam and then also the pillars of the religion. I think that in order to dive deeper you have to have that knowledge of the why and for things to make sense because there are a lot of things initially in Islam that just don't make sense to especially if you never known anything about Islam before or you live in like a Western society and things are very different to how we live, then you really need to know the why in order to understand. Dealing with people's opinions about you converting, of course that is a big, big 
big worry that a lot of people have. I think the thing to know is that, you know, for example, for me, I like haven't changed that much as a person, you know, and that's what I'm really trying to show, like my friends, my family, even people online, like around me, like, you're not becoming a completely different person or this person that's just so like, can't do anything else, you know, like you can still have fun, you can still do pretty, you know, a lot of things in life that you used to do, you know, even the way that you dress, you know, as women, a lot of people, I think a lot of families worry about the woman converting, all of a sudden she's going to like put on this black burqa and just look like a completely different person and judge everyone else and that's just really, really not the case. You know, for me, I felt like I learnt the Islam in my heart and then it's slowly coming out and in my life and in the people around me but you know when you first convert like you're converting in your heart and that doesn't even need to necessarily show to anyone around you like that is the relationship between you and Allah and he knows and he understands your struggles as well so I think you shouldn't let other people stop you converting and the outside world stop you converting because at the same time you don't always have to show the outside world straight away you can get to that stage slowly and I think a lot of people do you know for me now I feel like I've got a few more Muslim friends when we get out of Covid I feel like there's more Muslims that I'm going to hang around with and therefore we can talk about the things that we know of and then when I'm with my older friends and stuff like I don't know, I'm just not going to have judgment around them and you need to show that to people as well. Next place you want to travel once lockdown is over, inshallah. Okay, so I have lots of places that I want to travel to right now, um, but I think realistically maybe Indonesia will be somewhere that I do go back to quite soon or as soon as it does open um, because my best friend lives there and I just love the country so so much um, so I'd love to go back there I also want to go back to Pakistan like really really badly um, but I also want to do some new countries I really want to go to Afghanistan that's so high on my radar same as Iraq as well Iraqi Kurdistan is really high up on my radar Oman so like Tunisia Algeria so yeah there's some big countries on there mostly Muslim majority countries um, they were on my like radar even before I became Muslim, but now I definitely want to go and I think I'm going to appreciate them all so much more. How do you feel now that you have reverted? Has your perception of Islam and Muslims changed? So I do feel very good. <laughs> you know, I said when I did first did my Shahada and I first reverted, I felt like I had this feeling of contentment suddenly come over me. And I've actually had, you know, a few people yeah, message me to say that they've just converted or people like, I just did my Shahada. And this feeling of contentment is something that people really do talk about. And I did really feel it myself. And I still feel it. I still feel like I have that feeling of contentment, contentment and trust. And I guess in terms of things changing about Muslims and Islam, it's funny how I just notice now there's just so many Muslims. <laughs> um, like before, I just never really noticed it, even in women in hijab. You know, I lived in London, so of course I was seeing women in hijab all the time. But it wasn't until last summer when I went back to London and I was had been learning about Islam, I was ready to do my shahada, that I just noticed like, wow, there are so many women in hijab in London. And now I'm in Cardiff, there's a lot of Muslims in Cardiff as well. Really amazing history around, around here of like Arab culture in Cardiff and in South Wales. So there's a lot of Muslim women and I just notice it. Before I never noticed it and now I'm like, oh they're Muslim, oh they're Muslim, they're Muslim, oh that's halal, that's halal. Like that's a mosque, it's really, really funny. And the last question, what's your favourite surah of the Quran and favourite story in the Quran? So the thing that came to me straight away is Surah Al-Kaf, probably because that's what I've read most because I do try and read it on Fridays. The story that I like most within that surah, I can't remember like how it actually is, so I'm just going to like paraphrase it. Um, but when the boat is broken and then Prophet Moses asks, you know, why did you break that boat of these poor people? 
people and the man's you know what he knew is that there was these other people that were going to go around and capture all of the boats off of people but of course if the boat was broken then they weren't they wouldn't take it so although he did damage the boat of this poor family that was better than the king I think it was completely seizing it and taking the boat away and I think that that is just like a complete kind of life reminder that bad things do happen and Allah does make negative things happen but he knows best and he knows that he's doing this for a reason and often what actually did happen is not as bad as what could have happened. So I think just looking at life like that example of the boats, I think is just like a really amazing story and life lesson. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it and just got a bit more of an insight of my journey with Islam and hopefully that can help you wherever you are too, inshallah. Do give this video a like.